Hello there, Veena here from digitalaccesspass.com. In this video, I'll show you how you can integrate Mailgun with DAP. So if you want to use Mailgun as your email SMTP server, then there are a few things that you need to do in your Mailgun account, uh, and then also a few things that you need to do in DAP to integrate the two. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do this. So let's get started. So first thing you need to do is log into your Mailgun account and then click on domains. And under domains, add a new domain. So here I'm going to add my domain, add domain. So the next step is uh, you need to verify your domain. So just follow the steps that are here to verify the domain. So there are many reasons you need to verify your domain. So this is a very important step because uh, you need to do this to prove that you are an authorized sender for the domain. If you don't do this, then uh, there will be a sent via mailgun.org message in your email. So if you don't want that, you need to verify your domain and it will allow you to establish a positive email reputation for your own domain. And also verified domains are not subject to a sending limit of 300 emails per day by Mailgun. So that's why it's very important that you verify your domain. And also Mailgun will be less suspicious of traffic that is being sent on verified domains. So it reduces the likelihood of it being disabled. So make sure that you do this step. So what you need to do is you need to add these DNS records. So you may have to work with your web hosting uh, support to be able to do this. So I use Liquid Web as my web host. So I logged into the WHM uh, and uh, I added these DNS records and then I verified that it, it worked fine. But if you need help, you can always contact your web hosting support and, and have them add these DNS records. So be sure to add all of these for sending, for tracking. So once you complete these updates, you can try to verify it. It might take 24 to 48 hours for the DNS changes to propagate. So you may have to wait and then complete the verification before you can start testing with Mailgun. So the next thing you need to do is add webhook notification. So click on webhooks and then there are four events that you need to uh, connect with DAP. So the events are delivered messages, clicks, opens, and also permanent failure, uh, which is for bounced messages. Set them up to point to whatever is your domain name, slash DAP slash DAP dash mailgun dot PHP. So this is the script and uh, you need to connect all of these uh, four events to the same URL. So what you need to do is click on add new here and then enter the URL right here. Click on set webhook URL and that's it. So be sure to do this for clicks, opens and permanent failure. And uh, once you complete this, the next step is uh, go back to domains and find the domain that you have just verified. Click on it under domain information. You will find your login and password. So this is the one that you need to enter in the DAP email SMTP page under the username and password section. So copy this and then go back to your DAP uh, email SMTP page. So this is the login and password that you'll have to enter there. So let's uh, do that now. So this is the DAP email SMTP page. To add a new SMTP server, uh, you can enter it here and click on add and it'll add it here. You can see here I have three here. So there's no limit here. You can add as many SMTP servers as you want here and, and DAP will round robin and uh, go through each one of these. By default, DAP connects to localhost, which is your web host email SMTP server. So you can turn that off uh, by setting the activated to know if you want to use your own SMTP server. So here I have turned off all of these. So here I'm going to turn off all of these and I'm going to add the new one. So you can give it any name you want. So let's say I call it mailgun and SMTP server here enter smtp.mailgun.org. Port number 25 is fine, SSL is no. User ID, now this is the one you need to get from uh, Mailgun. So, so in the Mailgun domains page, find your domain and click on it. And it will bring up a page like this where you will find the domain information and copy the SMTP login and the password. So I'll enter that here. So the email sending limit, you can increase it to 500 and see how it goes and activate it. Make sure it's set to yes and click on add. And that's it. So now you have a new SMTP server. So, so the last thing you need to do is you need to enter a piece of code in your DAP config file. Edit the DAP config file and add that line. And you can do that using FTP or file manager on your web hosting uh, cPanel. So here, uh, this is my FTP client. So under the public HTML folder, I have this DAP folder right here. So under the DAP folder, find DAP config file. So this is the DAP config file, dap-config.php. Now edit this file. So in the DAP config file, you'll have to enter this line and the value is going to be your Mailgun private API key. So you'll find this link in this video below this post. So you can just copy and paste it, but you need to enter this uh, line in your DAP config file. And so let me show you where you can get the private key from. 
So this is my Mailgun account. So here at the top, click on uh, account settings or you can click on security directly and it will bring you to this page and you will find your private API key here. So click on view, copy this and then go back to your DAP config file and then you'll have to enter this uh, right here in the DAP config file and then save the config file. These are the steps. So now if you send out email broadcast, uh, you will be able to track your stats. Uh, you can go to the email reports page after you send out your broadcast. At the top of the hour, DAP will start sending out uh, all the emails that are uh, in your broadcast. And then uh, when you go to the email reports page, you'll find your stats here. I hope this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, please do let me know. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching.